is Amber Duffy. I'm a guide by your side with Colorado Hands and Voices. And I'm Kristen Euler. I'm an audiologist at the University of Colorado and I'm doing a research study on babies with hearing loss. Kristen, can you tell us a little bit about your study and who you're looking for to participate? Mm -hmm. The goal of this project is to find a better way to fit hearing aids. Right now, when babies are fit with hearing aids, um, there, there's a waiting period between being fit and knowing that they can discriminate between two speech sounds. So we're really looking for babies between one and five months of age with and without hearing loss. And we're measuring their brain waves um, for different speech sounds. For, so for ah versus e and ba versus da. And then when they're about six to nine months of age, we're measuring those, the response to sound using those same speech sounds, but using a behavioral paradigm, um, which is exactly like what your child does in the sound booth now, um, where we teach them that when they hear a sound, um, they turn their head. The difference between this test and what you typically do at your audiologist's office is rather than presence or absence of a sound with visual reinforcement audiometry, when they hear a change in sound, so ah versus e, we reward their head turn with um, either a video or a me mechanical toy like the monkey in the box. Um, and then the rest of the study, except for when they're three years of age, is actually done in your home. So we use very similar measures to um, the Colorado Home Intervention Program, where we will mail you um, a Lena, which is a way to measure their language um, throughout the course of a 16 hour day, um, along with the MacArthur, so a parent questionnaire. And then we do that um, at 16, 24, 27, and 30 months. Then when they turn three, we have you bring them into the clinic and we can measure their expressive and receptive. So what they understand and what they're saying um, in terms of their language abilities. And really what we wanna do is look at that first test that we do where we measure their brain waves between one and five months of age and their language outcomes at three years of age. Okay. And Kristen, where's the study located at? The study is located at the Anschutz Medical Campus off of 225 in Colfax. And is that the only location families can go? There are actually three locations. We're excited to have three locations now. Um, the first location is at Broomfield, at the Children's Hospital Colorado in Broomfield. And then um, there are two sites at the Anschutz Medical Campus, uh, the Children's Hospital Colorado and also the University of Colorado Hospital. And how long is the time commitment for the families to participate? There are two to three visits over the course of the first year. So there's that first visit when they're one to five months of age, and we schedule about three hours for that visit. The next two visits um, are when the child's between six and nine months of age. So um, we're doing a hearing test, which they may or may not have already. So if they have one from their managing audiologist, we can just use that. Um, and then we're measuring their ability to discriminate those speech sounds, the ah versus e and ba versus da, that we measured when they were one to five months of age again. Then the following visits are all done in the family's home. So there's no requirement for them to bring their child in. We'll mail them the Lena and the MacArthur um, at 16, 24, 27, and 30 months. And then when your child turns three, we'll have you bring them in so we can do um, a language major in the clinic. That's nice that some of the visits are at the home. That's mm -hmm. important. <laughs> and what about if there's two parents working? How would that work out for the study? Well, there's a couple of different options. We can schedule time when you may be off work, or such as a Saturday, um, or we could do you know evening hours too if that works better. Sometimes, sometimes evening hours are tough for families, um, and especially for babies if they need to be awake, mm -hmm. um, because usually mornings are best for babies. Um, but we'll be flexible and work around your schedule. If there's another sibling, um, it's very easy for us to provide childcare so that you can bring your other children to the visit as well. Okay. And Kristen, why should a family participate in this study? Well, the overall goal is to improve language outcomes. So we want to find a tool to make sure that a baby can discriminate speech well when they're first fit with hearing aids. And we know that babies who have better discrimination abilities also have better language abilities later. So we want to fine tune that hearing aid fitting as early as possible and then be able to measure the outcomes. For each individual child though, um, 
really what we want to know is can they personally discriminate the speech sounds and it's it's very helpful for families to know that so um, in working with the handful of children who have hearing loss who've participated in this study it's reassuring for them especially for those children who may have mild or minimal hearing loss and they wonder is putting these hearing aids on every day worth it um, because that's always a struggle at some point is keeping those hearing aids on and for them to know that their child can discriminate with those hearing aids is really reassuring to families so anything that we learn um, from this study will also help families later on down the road and then we also pay families fifteen dollars an hour for their participation okay well thank you so much for the great information thank you so much for your time